Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Janet and today I'm going to do this little video and we're going to just talk. This is my two cents. So if you would like to know, then just keep watching. So I recently got the Jeffree Star cremated palette and I've already done my um, foundation, concealer, all of that good stuff. So I thought we would use it with the big old mirror. Chit chat. My two cents. And see what we can create. I have some brushes over here. I've got my little color switch spongy in case it's needed. I am not the best at this, but we're going to try and see what we can create while we chit chat. I have like all these face brushes with all of these eyeshadow brushes. I should probably separate them. A little late for that, right? Okay, so this palette is a lot of gray tones. Which are my favorite. So I was super excited about this palette when I heard that it was coming out. So this will be the first time using it. Let's just see what we can create. I'm gonna take this little fluffy brush, because I don't know what I'm doing, and go in with those two look really close to each other. Casket ready and burial ground. They look very similar. Whatever. It's fine. Okay. So. We're going to just have a little chit chat while I do this about the world. Let's start with the fact that um, when I was growing up, it was never in my life in the way that I was raised. It was never white people, black people, Hispanic people, Chinese people, whatever. It wasn't a black and white thing for me. And I say that wholeheartedly. For me, it was never that. I truly did not see color. These people were my friends. They were just like me. That's the world I was brought up in. And as I've gotten older, especially being with my husband, because we come from two totally different backgrounds, I, to the extent of... I didn't know any different. I was very, very naive. If an example of that, I have never like put it out there on YouTube. You could probably do the math. My oldest son is 21. I literally had him four days after I turned 18. I was supposed to be 17, but he waited. And you know, to me, my now husband not being there was never an option. That never crossed my mind that he wouldn't be there with me to raise our son. Nope. Didn't cross my mind. So um, now we're being oh, almost 40. I know I was an idiot. <laughs> I was a very naive idiot, truthfully. And it took years for me to finally realize that. That it just, I mean, he's always known. To me, it wasn't an option. He was going to be there. And I know that's not how it always works out for everyone. And I'm very grateful at this point in my life that that is how it worked out. 
and we have our oldest son and our youngest son. So that is just one example of my life and how I grew up. And I never saw anybody different. We were all the same. Um, as I got older and with, <laughs> I'm getting ready to say some of the friends, it's family. Um, I have a circle. It's my inner circle. It's my group of people that we may not have the same birth, mother and father, but we're family. That's my sister. That's my brother. This is, this is my family, you know? Um, And I would do anything for them, just as I know they would do anything for me. Uh, so my brother, which is almost, he's nine and a half years older than me. So he grew up in a different time and talking to him and then realizing that stuff that I heard in school, like history, really didn't change that long ago from when I was born really blew me away and he was the one that has taught that to me um they don't care what stupid questions I might ask being this little <sighs> naive girl they've never cared They've always openly let me ask any question that I want and never judged me for it. Um, hold on. Maybe doing this and trying to play with this palette was a bad idea. Um, so I didn't understand that people being jerks and judging people didn't stop, you know, years before I was born. <laughs> um, I am extremely grateful for them and all the ridiculousness that they let me have because I'm learning and they don't judge me. They don't, I don't judge them. It's a totally different life than I've ever led. It's not something that I knew so being able to be educated by someone that's not going to judge you for not knowing was probably the best gift in the world These people are <laughs> no different than you and I. <laughs> My sister went to Yale, for God's sakes. Come on. Why, why are we out here judging people? Why are we out here treating people different? Why are we not out here treating everyone as how we would want to be treated? Why is this having to be a discussion in 2020? Why? I know why. 
I wholeheartedly know why. I... 